Activists in Elizabeth City are taking their fight for justice to the nation's capital. They'll bring their push for a federal investigation into the death of Andrew Brown Jr. to the U.S. Attorney General. Tomorrow's trip comes on the heels of a meeting today with Governor Roy Cooper. Eugene Daniel caught up with the local NAACP president ahead of that D.C. trip. Brown! Say his name! Andrew Brown! Whose streets? Our streets! You know, 42 days of protesting. Uh, today, Andrew Brown was 42 years old when he passed away. Demonstrators marched the streets of Elizabeth City nightly, and Wednesday, a group traveled two and a half hours to sit down with Governor Roy Cooper, State Attorney General Josh Stein, and members of the Legislative Black Caucus. The topic, the death of Andrew Brown Jr. In April, Pasquotain County deputies killed Brown while serving an arrest warrant. The DA called the shooting justified, but civil rights activists disagree and want accountability. In a statement released after the meeting, Governor Cooper's office said he believes federal officials should investigate and that special prosecutors should handle these types of cases. He went on to say he wants changes to state law that would make it easier for the public to see body camera footage in these cases. Thursday, the group will travel to Washington, D.C. to meet with the U.S. Attorney General. Local NAACP President Keith Rivers said they will hand over 2,000 signatures to expedite a federal investigation into Brown's death and to open a pattern and practice investigation into Pasquotain County Sheriff's Office and the District Attorney's Office. Rivers said North Carolina lawmakers were receptive of their message Wednesday and the governor pledged to travel to Elizabeth City at their request. Come to Elizabeth City and tell everyone in Elizabeth City what it is that we heard you say in Raleigh. In Elizabeth City, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. 13 News Now has followed this case from the very beginning. Count on us to bring you updates tomorrow as the meeting unfolds. Look for those on air, online, and on the 13 News Now app.